All right, so basically what you're going to want to do when you come in Sorry. is... Uh, all of us. All right. Perfect. Uh, just want to make sure that uh, before you power up the scope, uh, plug in the power supply and make sure that the port's not frayed, there's no damage, anything like that. Obviously, you don't want to have a short. Um, down here, uh, just follow the power cable into the uh, back of the uh, tower here. This is what you're going to have your power switch. Obviously, we have it on here. Once you turn this on, what's going to happen is you'll see here on the control panel, there'll be a progress bar that'll tell you. Uh, how, where it is in the initialization process and what that's doing is it's just taking kind of a inventory of uh, what, what weight is on the uh, microscope head there, any accessories that you have if you've mm -hmm. taken any off. So basically what that's going to do is kind of do an initial balancing of the scope. Um, so when you do that, you don't want to touch the scope because obviously um, uh, it's moving these counterweights here to adjust for that. So you don't want to mess with that while it's doing that. Uh, once it's done, you'll see uh, the display here on the control panel, and this will allow you to adjust the, uh, the focus speed or the uh, zoom speed. So if it's moving too quickly or too slowly, you can make mm -hmm. that adjustment back here. Um, from there, if, uh, if you haven't changed any accessories, uh, you should be uh, ready to go. All you'll need to do then is turn on the uh, main uh, illumination uh, module here, which is the xenon light bulb. Uh, so you just go ahead and uh, we'll just go ahead and turn this on right here. So you'll see obviously that that uh, will go on, uh, and then you should be pretty much uh, ready to go from there. Uh, before you position the scope over the patient, you're going to want to do a quick check of the uh, balance to make sure that the scope is acting the way it should. Uh, Uh, and, then, and then in order to do that, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to bring it into a uh, 90 degree position so the vertical arm here is straight up and the uh, horizontal arm is uh, parallel to the floor. And then what you should be able to do is just barely hold on to the scope and release the brakes here. And the scope should basically stay in position. It shouldn't tilt away from you or forward. It shouldn't uh, sway either way there. That way you'll know that uh, it's going to act the way you want to once you have position over the patient. If, uh, if it uh, is tilting or uh, dipping away from you or tilting forward, towards you, uh, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, balance the microscope. Uh, in order to do that, you're going to move back here to the rear of the tower. Um, as you can see here, this is key to note here, this uh, auto balance uh, system ready D. This is the position that this rotary knob needs to be in when you are actually using the uh, microscope during the procedure. Um, but then again, if you need to rebalance the scope, you will uh, turn this knob to the A, B, so to basically just start at the beginning of the alphabet, A, B, and then C, and then D. Uh, this A, B here, uh, once that's turned there, what it's going to do is it's going to engage all the other brakes, uh, all the other five brakes in the uh, stand here. It's just going to disengage uh, the access here so you can make the A and B adjustments. So once you hit the brake, then you'll see that the uh, scope is starting to fall away a little bit here because we've turned the uh, observer scope away. Mm -hmm. It's starting to fall this way. Um, Could you point to that uh, knob again? Uh, right here? Yes, the B knob. The B knob is right here, and then the A knob is facing right here. Okay. So right now, since it's tipping, tilting away, you're going to want to basically move the optics carrier this way mm -hmm. on the axis to balance it out. So. If I just turn this out, you can see it starts to fall. But if I turn it in, that's going to move the optics head here this way on the uh, carrier arm here. So you can see now that it's balanced. You hit that brake and it stays in position, it doesn't fall away. Same uh, procedure for the uh, B. Uh, you'll all just have to rotate the scope head. Mm -hmm so that the line of sight is perpendicular to the floor. Um, as you can see here, it's kind of falling this way, so what we're going to do is we're just going to turn this out. And that basically is holding it in position there, so now you got that uh, balanced as well. Okay. Okay, now you're going to need to do uh, C, which is 
basically going to cover the tilting side to side like this. So what you'll do is you'll turn the uh, knob back here, the rotary knob, to C. So again, what that's going to do is it's going to engage all the other brakes except the brake right here, which would allow you to see how it's acting side to side. Right now it's not moving as you can see, so it's it's basically... But just balanced. point to the... This is the C knob right here. Okay. What this knob yeah. will do is it'll basically shift the weight Excellent. on the objects left to right. To okay. So then after that, the uh, third and final step, you'll turn it to the auto balance system ready. Um, and and when you, when you're, before you're about to hit this button, just make sure that no one's touching the scope because what's going to happen is it's going to check to see how much weight's on the head there and it's going to move these weights. You don't want anyone touching because that's going to affect the okay. ability for it to auto balance. And all you do is just go ahead, touch the uh, auto balance button, and you'll hear it moving. You'll see the weights moving. Uh, again, just let it uh, finish when it's done. That auto balance, that blue button will go off. Okay. There. The green now it's light off. You get all three green lights. Very good. So it's ready to go. Yes. Okay. Only one thing that I want to make sure that you're aware of is the backup lighting system. If this were to go down for any reason, it's a quick change. Your emergency backup light is right here. Just drop this down. Um, pull out the fiber optic cable from the rear of the Xenon uh, and put it into the uh, the halogen here as your backup. Mm -hmm. And then so you just power that on and adjust the intensity right there. Okay. Very good.